This is an Albert Rodeo Fog of War tutorial. So on one side I have the DM and on the other side I have a player version who joined the DM game. So we have our Fog of War tools which is this cloud shape on the toolbar over here. As you go through it should pop up a new toolbar up here. So these tools you have Fog Polygon, Fog Rectangle, Fog Brush, Toggle Fog, Erase Fog, Enable Fog Cutting, Enable Multi-Layer, and Enable Fog Preview. So really quick, the first one that is selected is the Polygon, so this just lets you draw any shape you want, and then there's a fog that pops up. And you can see it automatically showed up on the player side. So if you're a DM, you can see where your fog is showing up, what it would look like on the player side, and you can see they match. The other one is a square or rectangle, and you can just draw it to match the shape if you want to cover large areas. And then the other one is a brush, and you kind of go through and you can just cover any areas that you want there. So you can toggle the fog. So if I click on it, I toggle the fog on and off if I only want to show one section. So if you're very detailed, you can turn on and off little sections. The other one is to erase fog. If you click on an item, it'll erase it completely. And then this one is more... It's a little bit easier if your party is exploring through and you want to cut away fog as they explore. You're going to want to turn disable fog cutting so that there's no line through it. That means it's on. You can go to your whichever draw tool you want. And now when I draw, it starts being red. And so when I cut it out, you see I cut out that portion. So if you're playing and whatever fog you're covering, if the party's over here and they want to keep moving, and if you you wish, you can just keep cutting whatever whatever fog away. and it'll keep cutting it out and I didn't get everything up here but you can Oop. I don't think I actually clicked the yeah I don't know why that's not disappearing now but oh no fog to cut I guess it doesn't count that as fog um, and then you can enable fog preview if you're doing it by yourself to see what you did cut out and you should notice that Anytime you cut out fog, it has these stripes and not the solid color. And you can pretty much use any of the drawing tools to cut out fog, and you can go across different fogs that you drew. So that makes it real easy. You just keep exploring, chopping away. So if you have a building, it'll make it super easy. And you can see I can actually start deleting all these individual pieces of fog now that I've cut them. Uh, so pretty simple. I don't know why you would want multi-layers, but you can also have layers so that if you have different fogs, I believe you can't cut over them. Enable fog preview, I can see it. And now if I try to cut it, I got rid of that one. Yeah, I'm not sure what this multi-layer is. I don't really use it that much, but so it makes it super easy just to cut out all the fog in that manner. Oh, and you can see I can toggle it back on and off. And now I can toggle one section, two section. 
and if I want to delete all these sections, there we go. So hopefully this tutorial on fog was helpful. Uh, let me know if there's anything else. Thanks.